Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again, hitting you guys up with another another video. Um, cause I just come across another um herbal medicine, should I say? Um, that's really good for the body. That's got a lot of healing benefits for it. So I thought I'm gonna test it out. Um, what it's called? It is called burdock root, and it just looks. It well, it, it's just um chopped up root should I say but um, it's a plant that can be found in the forest I'm not sure if it can be found in England in the forest but um, when I researched it it could be found in the forest anyway um, the, it's got some healing benefits to it that's why I'm using it because like holistic trying to be natural and stuff um, but like I was saying before do your research and check it out like the fucking moss that I've been saying do your research you find out the info spend five minutes researching and you'll come up with the fucking answers because this smart technology is making everyone dumb and shit. But anyway, enough of me ranting. Um, so I'm just gonna brew a tea out of the burdock root and I'm also gonna use um, hibiscus. Um, but the health benefits from burdock root, um, it can prevent and treat, be a treatment for cancer. Um, it soothes coughs and colds. It improves liver health, that's really good. Um, eases aches and pains, reduces blood pressure. Um, hibiscus is good for the blood as well, so you're getting like a double whammy there. And it eliminates excess water weight, it's, which is pretty good as well, because a lot of us carry excess water thinking that we weigh more than we actually do, and it's just water that you just need to burn off anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make it up anyway, because it's just like brewing a normal tea really, and I'm just gonna let it sit and boil down for a little bit, but I'll show you how I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright guys, I'm just eyeballing the hibiscus because, um, yeah, I'm not weighing it up or none of that. So I'm just going to use like a small handful of hibiscus, not too much, just to throw in the pot. And then I'm going to use um, two tablespoons of burdock root. Uno. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cover that with um, hot water now. Yeah, so I already boiled the kettle, I'm just gonna cover it with boiling water. Yeah, I'm not using too much, I'll probably make two glasses worth of tea. Yeah, not, I don't want it to be too watery. So I'm just gonna wait for that to um, start boiling and I'll be back. Alright guys, so my water started to boil, so I'm just going to reduce it to um, medium low heat just to simmer to get all the goodness out of the plants then. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to let that simmer for 15 minutes and then we'll be back. Alright guys, so my 15 minutes have been up and the tea's just been brewing for 15 minutes and I've occasionally stirred it as well to just mix it all in. So it's looking like a mad red colour from the hibiscus. But I'm just going to strain this out now um, and then that's basically we're done. Alright Trab, so let's give this burdock root a go and see what it's saying. This union encourages her to release her eggs. You get a nice sharp kick from the hibiscus and it's got like a the male fertilizes them. Mellow earthy taste to it afterwards, but it tastes pretty cool anyway. I guess you can add some syrup, some golden syrup, or some honey if you don't like the sharpness for the hibiscus. Um, but it's about the healing benefits you get from the drink anyway, should I say. 
But um, yeah guys, that's my first time trying the drink. Um, if you like the video, you guys already know what to do. Um, any questions and answers, hit me up. And I'll try my best to answer them. And stay, stay tuned guys, because I'm going to be hitting you up with the Unity video. Um, pretty soon when I got the energy because I just my energy is just mad right about now but um, stay tuned tribe and I'll speak to y'all soon peace love and light